the topic today is the power of decision making. Okay. So the context behind this is when we make decisions, and in fact, I did this before the podcast. I was asking you a question, wasn't I? And I was asking you a question of what, you know, what you thought was a particular idea. And then you said to me, well, you just got to go with what you think. So it is about that, really. So the story behind this really was a little bit about I was unhappy in a certain job situation and I was getting very low. My wife, I then, my wife then went to the doctor for some reason because she, she was struggling with something and then told the doctor about what I was planning to do because basically I was going to just leave the job. You know the story. I've told you the story of what I was going to leave the job and just Not without any other job to go to. in the podcast, I lived the story with you, Joe. <laughs> yeah. Yes, exactly. So I left the job without a job, but the advice that came from the doctor, who was obviously a GP, said, no, you can't do that. You've just got to stay in the job. So there's a couple of things on this. Is I want to ask you, you know, when have you made a decision when you've gone against everyone else, what they were saying, all the advice, all the opinions, and then you took the decision and actually worked out okay? Because for me, it worked out really great. It may not have done, but I went with what I felt. And I couldn't be in that situation to make that decision. I want to ask you, any times in your life when you've had to, to make a decision, even though you've gone against everybody, you could have been your mum, your dad, the people around you, your friends, and you just felt it had, you had to do it. I'm trying to think of a specific example that jumps to mind. It could be in any situation. It could be work one because I mean, so, I mean, you, you let you lead people, don't you? And um, you know, sometimes you you might you might be taking counsel from people, but it's that thing, isn't it? Yeah, and I don't think too much personally. I don't. I don't think generally I get a lot of you know. I've, made decisions, done things, gone in different directions, but not often had a lot of, no, absolutely don't do that. In a, and it's, I don't give too many specific details because I've had it in a work context because I like to think I'm quite a brave work person and I make bold decisions. I think you don't get anywhere without doing that. I also think that I consider the risks or mitigate the risks when I do make said bold decisions. And there's been times before when I've been on, projects and there was one and okay, I won't give it to you. I mean this is going back a long number of years now. Um but was on a project, we had a plan for what we we're gonna do. We were close to implementation of this plan. A, a a kind of project manager got assigned to support the delivery that we were looking to do with this and they got very nervous about the scale that we were working at. Now I was completely comfortable with it. We'd made our plan. We'd done similar plans before. We had contingencies if stuff went wrong. And there was significant push to not only that this was a bit risky, but this person actually wanted to shut down the entire project because they felt it was so risky. I persevered ahead with the decision to do said thing. I think they washed their hands of the decision and everything went well with it. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that there wouldn't have there wasn't a risk of something going wrong, but within we had contingencies for what we would do if this happened. And actually the, the flip side of it is that if we did nothing, we weren't going to progress, we weren't going to change, we weren't going to move ahead with things that we needed to do that had significant benefit behind it. Um, and I think I've been in a number of situations like that where I will, I mean, you've worked with me, Joe, you know that I'm I'm quite happy, if not almost seeking out going against the status quo where there is a benefit to it nothing nothing irks him more than the statement of well this is what we've always done and not even as a business but as an industry where it's kind of you know tried and tested and true because you never innovate and you never improve you try don't try new things so i think i've found myself in that position a number of times where you just want to do something that doesn't feel safe or comfortable but it's for the benefit of of moving things ahead and i'd like to say you know hopefully truthfully rather than arrogantly that it's been very rare that something i've i've positioned hasn't gone the way we wanted it to or is something has gone wrong that we haven't been able to pivot or adjust to make sure that we got where we needed to 